Hello, today we're going to try and upgrade a Honeywell camera. Uh, this is the new 35 series cameras. I've got one of these. I happen to have the 8 megapixel one connected. Uh, and I need to go and upgrade the software on it. So I just thought I'd introduce you to the tools you need uh, and where to get the software. First thing you really need to do uh, is to go over to my Honeywell Buildings University and get yourself a login. Uh, the address is up here, my honeywellbuildingsuniversity.com. Go and register. I've already registered, of course, uh, and I'm just going to log in. Uh, and that allows me to get uh, a couple of pieces of software I need. Uh, one of them is the scanning tool. Uh, one, obviously, of course, is the software that we need, to, the, the firmware for the camera, and indeed the recorders if you're using some of the recorders. Right, so what you need to do is click up here on technical support, self-service. And then we need to go over to Download Center. And once we're on the Download Center, we, we click down here and we're after a couple of things. Uh, for sure, we need the software for the camera. So we just choose 35 series and the eight megapixel ones in this range here. Uh, and as you can see down below, there's the firmware releases currently. So you click on that and it up, gives you that window. And I'll go ahead uh, and I'll get the download started while this is doing. I'll just nip back to my Honeywell buildings and go back to the download center. And we'll, what we're after is the tools. Uh, we're after the camera tools, which is the unified tool. So if you click on there, you'll see the latest version of the unified tool. Again, we can go and download that. I've already got a version of that on my PC, but you need to go and download that, get that installed. And then we'll continue to have a look at the IP address for the camera. Right, let's uh, let's navigate over to that tool I was mentioning. I'll just go and I'll launch it now. So it's called the Unify tool. And here's the Unify tool now. I'll just make it big so we can see it on the screen. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you click Add Camera, and you click on Auto Discover. Uh, and it first thing it does is it introduces you to which network cards you've got on your PC or your laptop. So I've got a Wi-Fi connection, uh, and I've also got a wired connection, and the camera's connected to my wired connection. So that's what I'm going to use to scan. I can click Discover right away, or I can if I want to. If I already know the username and password for the camera, I can add it here, and it'll authorize it. But I don't have to do that. Uh, you could skip that step, as in initialization is the same sort of thing. Uh, and we'll just let it go ahead and do a scan. It's going to scan my network and it's going to find my camera. And my camera happens to be on the same IP address. I've already set it, but this is the same tool you can use to change your IP address. And what it's going to do is it's going to say to me, uh, that little symbol there means uh, unauthenticated, right? So I need to click on it and give it the admin username and password, which I'll do right now. I click apply. And once that's done, it's authentic. It's going to authenticate that little green symbol means I've authenticated. I now have to click the camera and click on add. And that's me added it to the project effectively. I can, if I want to, go straight ahead and go for firmware upgrade. And with a bit of luck, uh, and if I just navigate to my downloads directory, there it is. There's the Honeywell uh, download, but I do need to unzip it first. So I'm just going to skip that step a minute. And I'm going to go and unzip that for you right now. I'll just go and get the downloads directory up. There it is there. Uh, and there's the firmware. I'm just going to extract it. Uh, that's me extracting it into a folder and within the folder, is the release notes and also the uh, the firmware for the camera. So we don't read the downloads. So we can, if we want to, just go straight ahead and do a downloads uh, and go, there's the firmware we're after. Double click uh, and release that there. And if I was to click apply now, that would upgrade the camera. But I'm gonna show you another way of doing it and that's to access the camera directly. So we, this, this symbol here takes you directly to the web page of the camera, which we've got here. Uh, and of course, I can enter the admin username and password. 
because it's always a good idea to check what you've already got. Um, and there's a live image. I have to click on the information tab and go across the version number. It tells me the version number that I'm currently on. And I now need to go and do the upgrades. I would go down to system setup, go all over to maintenance, and do exactly the same thing really, uh, is go to the downloads directory, into the folder, click on the release notes and perform an upgrade. And that's about as simple as it gets. Um, once this is once this is done, we'll have a nice new firmware on our camera. It's well recommended you do these upgrades as much as you can. Um, I'll just let that do it, and we'll come back and we'll check. We've got a nice new version. Right. Once your camera's upgraded, we just need to log back in again. Um, it's on HTTPS, by the way. That's why it, it prompts you to go to uh, this login prompt. I'll just enter my username and password. And then go straight back down to the information tab. Across the version number. And we'll see well, we've got a nice new version of software on there. So uh, I hope that's helped navigate the Honeywell cameras. Check back soon and we'll do some more. Thank you very much.